Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about one of the most important concept in compiler design is difference between phase and pass of a compiler. Mainly there are three differences are there. The first one is suppose we want to compile a source program we have to follow different number of steps. The process of compilation is carried out in various steps can be called as phase. Whereas in the case of pass, various phases are grouped together to form a pass. That means whatever the phases are there in the compilation of a source program, that phases are grouped together to form a pass. Second point, the phases of compiling a source program are lexical analysis, syntax analysis, semantics analysis, intermediate code generation, code optimization and code generation. So, these are the main six phases for compiling a source program. Next, in the case of pass, the process of compilation can be carried out either in a single pass or in a multiple passes. In the single pass compiler, the compiler goes through the source program only once whereas in the case of multi-pass compiler, the compiler goes through the source program several number of times. Next, third one, phase is nothing but units for our steps in the compilation process. Okay, we want to compile the source program whatever the steps we have to follow that steps can be called as phases. Whereas in the case of pass, pass is nothing but how many number of times the compiler goes through the source program to get the target code, target code. So that is nothing but pass. How many number of times the compiler goes through the source program before generating the target code. So that is nothing but pass. So these are the main three differences between phase and pass of a compiler. Okay. The simple definition is phase is nothing but suppose we want to write a program that program can be saved. After saving the program, the next step is compiling the source program. To compile the source program, whatever the steps we have to follow, the process of compilation is carried out in various steps. The steps can be called as phases. Okay. What if the common phases in compiling a source program are lexical analysis, syntax analysis, semantic analysis, intermediate code generation, code optimization and code generation. These phases are grouped together to form a pass. There are two types of passes. One is a single pass, second one is multi-pass. In the single pass compiler, the compiler goes through the source program only once. Whereas in the case of multi pass compiler, the compiler goes through the source program multiple number of times. Okay. Simply we can say that pass is nothing but total number of times the compiler goes through the source program before generating the target code. So this is the this main difference between phase and pass in compiler design. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope 
all of you understanding this uh, video if you really understanding this video please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates if you really like this video please subscribe my youtube channel divela srinivasa rao after subscribing my youtube channel click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my youtube channel thank you thank you for watching this video